Hi, uh, this is the second video for module two, types of tracking radar systems. So in the previous video, I have told you what is a tracking radar and what are the functions it should do in order to, uh, in order to find uh, many, in order to do many jobs. So what are the jobs that a tracking radar should do? Uh, one is it should not only detect the presence of the target, but also determine the target's location in range, as well as in two angle coordinates, azimuth and elevation angle. It should also observe the target continuously and get a project's trajectory or a path. And hence predict the future position of the target as well. Okay, so these are the jobs that a tracking radar should do. Now, this is the, uh, this is, this, in this video, I'll explain what are the types of tracking radar systems. Okay. So there are four types as I have just briefed in the pre previous video. So the four types are, the first one is single target tracker, STT. Second one is automatic, automatic detection and track, ADT. Third one is spaced array radar tracking. And the fourth one is track wide scan, TWS. First, let's start with the first one, STT, single target tracker. So this uh, tracker is designed to continuously track a single target at a fast data rate. So the data rate is relatively faster. Okay, but the problem is it tracks only a single target. Okay. So this data rate depends on the applications, but typical data rate is 10 observations per second. observations per second uh, which is usually used for military guided missile weapon control radar the antenna beam of this single target tracker follows the track target by obtaining an angle error signal and by employing a closed loop servo system so this closed loop servo system i have discussed in the previous uh, topic so that is the usual logic employed by this type of target and in this whole chapter uh, we will be focusing on that logic okay that means finding the angle error signal by employing a closed loop servo system right i also showed you a uh, block diagram for this a small one so angle error is nothing but the error between the direction of the uh, radiation beam sent by the radar and the direction of the target that is the trajectory of the target so if there is a difference between these two, we have an angle error, which shouldn't be ideally there, right? So in order to reduce this, we have a closed loop servo system, which aligns the position of the antenna in order to keep this angle error signal small, okay? Most of this chapter is concerned with this type of tracker. And the application of single target tracker is uh, aircraft or missile targets in support of military weapon control system, okay? So that was about saying STT. Uh, this is an example of STT, ANFPQ6. It's a fixed land-based radar which operates in uh, C-band. Okay, what is C-band? So uh, L-band is 1 to 2 gigahertz, S-band is 2 to 4, C-band is 4 to 8 gigahertz, and X-band is 8 to 12 gigahertz. Okay, so C-band is 2, 2 to, sorry, 4 to 8 gigahertz. And this ANFPQ6 radar system is used for long range and small target tracking. And it is located at uh, NASA Kennedy Space Center. So this uh, radar system was, it first used embedded uh, programmable computer. And uh, it falls under the category of monopulse tracking radar. As I said, there are three methods which we'll be discussing in this module. Uh, three methods of tracking. One is monopulse tracking, second one is sequential lobing, and third one is conical scan. Under monopulse tracking, we have two subcategories. One is amplitude comparison monopulse, and second one is phase comparison monopulse. So this uh, radar, that is ANFPQ6, was an amplitude comparison monopulse tracking radar, which was tunable from 5.4 to 5.8 gigahertz. So 5.4 to 5.8 is nothing but C band. Okay, and this was designed in 1958 to 64. So that was STT's example. Uh, one more view of this. Uh, radar is this. Okay, so this is ANFPQ6 fixed site. Okay. Now the second type of tracking is automatic detection and track ADT. So this uh, performs tracking as a part of air surveillance radar. 
okay uh, it is usually found in almost all modern civil air traffic control radars as well as military air surveillance radar so these are two applications of adt now um, the one um, disadvantage that uh, this adt has that the rate at which the observations are made is dependent on the time <clears throat> that the antenna takes for one rotation and the time that the antenna takes for one rotation is uh, ranging from few seconds to 12 seconds so this is the time that the antenna takes for one rotation and the rate at which the observations are made depends on this one rotation which means the data rate is actually lower right so this is one disadvantage that the data rate is lower than that of stt okay but the advantage of this adt is that it can track simultaneously many hundreds or even few thousands of targets simultaneously that is at the same time it's going to track hundreds or thousands of targets so this is one advantage now another difference between stt and adt is that stt was uh, functioning in closed loop servo system but adt functions in is done the tracking is done in open loop method and hence the antenna position is actually not controlled by the data which is obtained by processing the uh, target right so the tracking data doesn't control the antenna positions so that means it is open uh, functioning in open loop system so that is another difference okay and the application as i said is uh, almost all civil air traffic control radars and as well as military air, air surveillance radar now the third type of tracking radar system is phased array radar tracking so the uh, i i hope you remember this term several times i've taken in class i have mentioned this term in class even when we were learning module 1 the radar block diagram this was one of the types of antennas which could be used right phased array and i have also shown you a gif uh, on how a phased radar phased array radar works right i have also shown you some pictures of this uh, type of radar okay now um i'll just uh, tell you again so what is this so this uh, the main advantage of phased array radar tracking is that a large number of tracks targets can be held in track okay using electronically phased steered phased array and a radar okay so this is it can hold many number of trackers sorry targets so the advantage of stt as well as the advantage of adt is combined and together this phased array radar, radar is formed so the advantage of adt was that it can hold large number of targets at the same time so that is taken into account so phased array radar can Uh, have large number of targets held on track. Mm, this multiple targets are tracked on time shared basis. Time shared basis under con computer control. So I uh, hope you remember our antenna subject last semester, in which we have studied two array, broadside array, infrared array, and also anisotropic point sources, non-anisotropic point sources. Right. So in that we have seen the uh, feed. the so every antenna is given with a feed of different phases right so that's what is actually phased array radar so the, here multiple targets are tracked on time shared basis okay so the beams are uh, the uh, the beams of an electronically scanned array can be rapidly switched from one angular direction to another so this rapid switching right so from one uh, direction to another direction so, so the radiation beam it actually keeps switching rapidly so that is what we mean by time shared basis so it combines a rapid update rate of single target tracker stt and the ability to hold many targets uh, of ability of adt to hold many targets so two advantages are combined together okay so beam is electronically switched from one position to another in few microseconds so it has the high data rate of stt and many keeping many targets in track as like in adt so to two uh, advantages okay so um, the example is again uh, an fpq 39 motr motr is multiple target tracking range instrumentation radar okay so this is one example of an mps sorry an mps 20 motr this is an example of phased array radar tracking tracker so here the antenna uh 
that is the electronically steer, steerable lens array radar is 20 feet of, uh, is of 20 feet diameter okay and it can simultaneously track up to 10 objects so what do you mean by the simultaneously tracking 10 objects so this figure is more clear uh, clearly explaining how simultaneously track simultaneous tracking is done so you can see if this is the radar this is the ship in which the radar is placed you can simultaneously simultaneously track many things so it can find this uh, high speed horizon search surface picture missile launch so many things so actual target desirable target every fire control right so it can track many targets at the same time so this is what a phased array radar can do so this is another picture explaining the same thing so if this is a phased array radar okay so it's an array so i think a similar picture i've shown like uh, the the phased array radar like this i've shown in module one so simultaneously it can perform many tracking okay not only the desirable target but also other things so you can see this flash spotting surface target detection external target designation etc many things get to be done simultaneously okay so that is phased array radar tracking so the next uh, next type of tracking radar system is track while scan so this TWS, this radar rapidly scans a limited angular sector to maintain tracks. So it does simultaneously track and search, but over a limited angular sector. Okay, so there is a beam, narrow beam um, around which scanning is done. Okay, so not anything about that, right? So uh, data rate of this track while scan type of system is moderate. Okay, not as high as STT, not as low as ADT. So it has been used in the past for air defense radar. Okay, and air landing radars, etc. So this name track while scan was actually applied in the past. So the same thing which is applied in the past that is track while scan is now called as ADT. Okay, fine. So this is an equivalent of uh, ADT. Okay, so it uses a narrow angular sector usually in both azimuth and azimuth, okay, azimuth and elevation, that is theta and phi. So that was about um, TWS, okay. Yeah, so these were the four types of uh, tracking radar systems. Uh, it, if you if you get this question in video, you have to write till here, so the four types, okay. So this is an easy topic. So the next topic is angle tracking, which I'll be explaining in the next video. Thank you for listening, bye.